Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Server Gyan. My name is Dr. Lokendr Singh and within this video we are going to discuss about the most popular and hectic task for your all admins that how to automate your backup. In fact in, if you go to face interview and they simply ask you that how do you take backups. So as of today AWS has provided you a feature which is known as Life Cycle Manager. So you can follow in this particular feature. So let us let us look into this that how does it work. So for example, I have created a volume with this within my account and I'm going to automate the backup of this volume. Not only this volume, you can select anyone and uh, based on that you will be able to take backup of it on daily basis or maybe as per your requirement. So I will click on this icon, which is your create a snapshot lifecycle. I will give this name, maybe demo. Then after I will give it a name on, on the basis of tag I want to give. So the particular name of my volume is my docker. Then after schedule name that why you are going to schedule I'm going to say server gun demo. Now the create snapshot policy will be for 12 hours or for 24 hours. So based on your requirement you can decide that when you want to take backup maybe once in a day or twice in a day. Now a snapshot creation time at what time your snapshot will be started so this is uh, like you can go here in 24 uh, 24 hours time this this works on so based on your like uh, low traffic time you can consider it you can start taking it back up then after retention rule what does it mean how many snapshots you want for example i'm going to say here eight so once ninth snapshot will be taken so the first one backup which I will be, uh, whichever you created today so that will go off that will not remain that will not be available that will be deleted automatically it means your your particular tension that how to take backup and uh, when to remove backup from your account you are facing unwanted charges within your account so you can uh, get free from that then after all the snapshot which will be taken so do they have any tags so yes that option is also given that the particular tag which is given in your volume that will be copied here if you want to add additional tags so for sure you can add like if you want some further tagging so you can enable here server gyan demo the particular name of this job which i have specified the same name i'm going to give here then after you can choose like obviously one rule will be specified for your servers so based on that you can specify that what rule you want either you can choose the role or you can choose default role this role is nothing but the im policy which is required for this all the tasks which are which you are going to perform with this service so that particular role will be required here and based on that you can create your automation policy once you click on create policy so that will be applicable now whenever you are done with this whenever you feel like uh, you do not need any policy so far so after that you can disable that and for sure for disabling it you will go to action and within action uh, you will be able to delete a snapshot lifecycle policy or if you want to modify it like you want to modify any tag or you want to disable this policy you don't want to delete it so you can disable this I will click on update policy and that will be updated. It, it will ask me that all the all the rules whatever were done here. So like older snapshot remain uh, will be greater than older than four, four, uh, four days only. So you can confirm it and obviously based on your requirement and based on your settings. So your uh, stuff has been modified and keep this thing in mind once you delete this policy. So it means no backup will be taken going forward and all the existing snapshot will be available within your account so keep this thing in mind this is how you can automate your task so this is it for this video guys thank you very much for watching have a good time please do like share and subscribe to my channel and please do write in comment box if you have any further further questions on this thank you very much have a good time